Okay, so the basic principles behind this is like you do these three, three swings on the ground, two, three, one, two, three, like that. And you can cancel these with a jump, or like you can cancel the third one with a jump on the ground. But um, in the air, uh, the game still thinks you're grounded, so you can jump out of these when the animation's finished. It's like it's like doing that, you know. It still thinks you're grounded, so you can jump out of it, uh, jump out of them in the air. So this ledge grab, it's like it's just barely left of center where you want to aim. If you're too far left, you'll go back in bounds. It's like there, just there. And that just takes like a bit of practice. Sometimes it'll just do that to you though. But here, the lineup for this, so on shooter, you're already facing this way, which is a benefit. I don't know how it's like on default. Um, so you see Ratchet's like shoulder panel here and how it's that blue line. So that's your that's your lineup cue. And the So line up the blue panel where it sort of forks off here. Um, that is the two lines in the ceiling. You'll see how it turns into like hexagons and all that. Where it forks off here to start the next hexagon. Um, yeah, just there. So like it's dead center of that. And if you're far right enough, like you want Ratchet's feet to be um, about here. If you're too far left, you'll go back inbounds when you swing your wrench. So this line up, we'll just wait for the idle animation. This is ideal. And then you do one, like you just mash square, you get those three uh, wrench swings, and now the third one, as soon as you see that start, you want to you want to cancel that with X, and then you want to do a delayed double jump. So, one, two, three, one, two. There's probably like capture card delay on that or whatever, but uh, the delay double jump is like the one on Zola to rescue the kid, so it's like one, two. Like, you're gonna fall for a little bit. But it's the distance that matters. Now I'll try and demonstrate it again. And if I fail, I'll, I'll know what went wrong. So like that, that's just a ledge grab fail. That's better. Okay, so we're facing this way. We want to move over to the right here. And line up the panels. Yep, that should do. One, two, three, one, two. And there we go. So it's very consistent. It is really, really consistent. The lineup like may take some time, but otherwise, you know, it's a way easier alternative to the other door clip. Like this is the hardest part, getting this fucking ledge grab here. So line up. One, two, three, one, two, yeah. There's not much to it. And like I'll try I'll just fail one to show you what happens if you're too far forward. Because if you're too far back, you probably won't even go off the ledge. Or if you're too far back, you'll like jump and you'll go back in bounds, and that's nothing, but like let's say I'm all the way down here. See, okay. If you go too far down, you slide off. But if you start that wrench swing, you'll end up like way below where you need to ledge grab. And like, if you're too far left, you go inbounds. If you start here, like, you yeah, like that kind of nonsense happens. So it's precise, but it's consistent. And I don't think it's, you know, precise enough to be a game breaker. It's more just know where your lineups are, and the wrench swing will take you exactly where you need to be. See, so like. Another one, going too far forward. This is a piece of shit clip. There we go. See, so yeah, okay, if you get that camera angle, you're too far left. Like, this should be good too. One, two, yeah. That's all there is to it, and then you just climb up and walk forward. 